What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Spiel Dog. Yeah, man, I've been hearing a lot of people, they've been saying that um, Crawford gonna win because Earl is a basic fighter and um, he hasn't changed from the time he, you know, from in the last four or five years. Well, I mean, uh, it ain't that he basic, it's just that he fundamentally sound. Errol Spence keep his hands up nice and tight, uh, keep him in close, and he work behind the jab. Uh, that's the way, that's boxing one on one. Now it's not basic though. One, Earl Spence is pretty big for his division, and he a pressure fighter. And number two, if when you watch him fight, even though it looked like it's basic, he really coming in from angles. Spence used a lot of angles when he throw his jabs. Uh, he have a lot of variation in his punches. Uh, so what seem basic is what make it seem basic is the consistency and the pressure in which he's going about it. You know, uh, yeah, Crawford does. Crawford has like he's much more of a finesseful fighter than Spence, but finesse ain't going It's not gonna win this fight. It's going to be uh, boxing skills, seriously. And if you ask my opinion, I think Spence got a much better defense than uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, Crawford can hit clean way more than Spence do, if, in my opinion, too, especially with the uh, level of opposition that he's been fighting since he's been in the welterweight division. Uh, and that ain't my opinion. You know, just go look at the tapes and look at how these guys uh, and guys that's reaches way shorter than Spence and guys that's smaller than Spence is touching Crawford. I mean, touching him flush, touching him clean. You know, uh, almost every time he do it, it happened. He lick his tongue out. So, if you want to act like you ain't seen it, just go just go look at some of his fights. And every time he get touched clean, he gonna stick his tongue out. You know, uh, and I'm thinking when he get in the ring with Spence, he gonna get touched more than he ever been touched in his career, and he gonna be getting hit hard like that. You know, he done already showed that if you hit him hard, he'll go down. He did that against me, Machine. And Gamboa buzzed him pretty good. If, if people remember that fight that he had with Gamboa some years ago. Uh, I've seen Crawford stagger many times. I think the closest I've seen Spence to being hurt was the fight against, um, the last fight against Ugas. And I think early in his career, I cannot think of this little bit, this, this dude, this dude, this uh, Dominican dude name, but it was a, it was a, uh, a guy, a lesser fighter too, but he caught Earl real clean. Uh, probably about eighth, ninth, tenth fight. It was early in his career, but I seen him get cracked, and and and, and the guy shook him in that. But so I've I've seen Earl get staggered, but not nearly to the degree that I've seen Bud. And it's been a long time since it happened. Uh, and plus, the one with uh, with Spence, you know, he was kind of looking down for his mouthpiece, not trying to make no excuses, just trying to be accurate about it. And Ugas is a much better fighter than me, Machine, and Gamboa. I mean, if you just want to keep it 100, Ugas actually beat Terrence Crawford twice in the amateurs. You know, so I see, I, 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 I think Earl got the advantage as far as defense. Uh, if people don't watch that, if you pay close attention to Earl, Earl, he real good on his pivot, you know. Uh, and like I say, that jab is going to be the, the biggest factor to me, man. You know, his defense and that jab, uh, that that consistency is going to be it's going to be something Crawford ain't used to. You know, these guys have not really challenged Crawford the way Spence will. Crawford is dictated the pace and the tempo in every fight I've ever seen him in. I think Sean might have gave him more props than anybody else I saw, you know, uh, at least in some time. I mean, you know, uh, it's going to be a, a world of difference when he gets in that way. And I mean, you know, uh, I just, I, I, it may not be as good a fight as people want it to be, you know, because I just don't know how Crawford is going to react to them punches consistently being landed on him because as good a fight as he is, he don't have the greatest defense like people like you would think he got. Seriously, I mean, he get hit flush too much and he ain't fought nothing close, not in the ring, 
that I've seen. None of them dudes he been in the ring with ain't nowhere close to the level of competitor and uh, talent and strength that Spence for to bring in there. So it's going to be a blockbuster, baby. Uh, this is going to be the fight we're looking for. And I just want to see how it all, I can't wait to see how it all play out. Uh, I'm more leaning towards the knockout than anything else, uh, especially for Spence. I really am. But then it could possibly go 12. You know, if Bud could take it for 12 rounds, it'll go 12. But I'm thinking around the ninth, eighth, ninth round, it's going to get real. And then uh, and, and I just think if somebody going to gas out, you know, and I'm, I'm leaning towards Spence. Uh, but, yeah, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.